Hello guys, I'm Chill here, and I am going to be showing you how to make a RuneScape private server 317 loading a 634. Um, this is probably going to be a three part guide, so please bear with me. First of all, you're going to want to download the file in the description, and it's going to be a RAR file, and if you do not have WinRAR, I will also provide a link in the description. So you're going to download the source in the client, and you're going to right click and click extract here. Just let this extract real quick. Okay, after you're done extracting, you're going to have the conception x source and the client. After that, you are ready. Next, you are going to want to open up your internet browser and go press the um, Windows start button and type in cmd for command prompt up here you are going to type in ip config and press enter and you're going to go to the top and the default gateway is what you're going to want to type in on your browser so mine is 192.168.2.1 then you're going to want to click login submit and virtual servers you are going to want to port forward the port 43594 and for if you have a Belkin um, this is like the only router I know how to port forward with but um, where it says private IP address you're going to see where it says IPv4 address and the last digit is what you're going to want to put in there and you're going to want to put make this as a TCP and UDP after you're done with that you're ready to go Okay, next you are going to want to open up the Conception X source and um, you are going to right click compiler and click edit. And it's going to say JDK 1.6.25. You are also are going to have to download Java and JDK, so after you do that, just follow what I do. Okay, now you're going to want to go to computer. Um, program files, Java, and you're going to want to match. See how it says 1.6.033? You're going to change that to 33. And you're going to want to save it. After that, you're ready. Okay, now, you're in, you have to make sure you're on the source. If you are not on the source, this will not work. You're going to go to Run Server, and it's going to say it's listening and then you're going to want to go to your client and run you're going to want to let this load up give me one minute please come on anytime now oh also guys um I'm sorry, I pretty much like quit YouTube, but then I got back into it, so that's why I haven't posted in a while. Okay, now that this is all loaded up, you're going to click on existing user and just type in any username you want and any password you want and click login. It should let you log in. Now, if it's fine if it black screens for a couple seconds, um, it's completely normal. So, um, let this unblack screen and accept this accept this and there you go you are in you have your own server now this server is source is not mine I take no credit for it okay um first of all if you just type in something random or um, you try a regular command like colon colon master none of these will work um, colon colon item nothing will work right this is how you fix that to give yourself administrator or owner privileges okay so next you are going to want to go into your source and you're gonna wanna go into give me a minute please I'm sorry guys okay next you're gonna wanna log out I'm sorry I've never used a source before you're going to want to log out or exit out of your client, and then your profile should be on 
that my name was bread so yeah and um for the you're gonna go down until you see character rights and you're gonna change that f for to three three is um owner two is administrator and one is moderator and zero is a regular player next you're gonna want to do save exit out go back and compile if you did this right it shouldn't give you any errors or anything now that you're ready run your source again and your client and let this load up it shouldn't take as long yep okay now when you log in um, give me a minute please Okay, now that you're in and you're trying to type something, you can see that you're an um, owner. And you can also see your rank as an owner. Next, you're going to want to do colon colon master. And it will give you 99 everything. And you can do colon colon item 19456 no, 15694, I think that's it. No. Um. Oh, this is another thing that you can do with this source. If you go to the PK point shop, which is Captain Donnie, and you can see how you, um, you need PK points, what you do is you go back into your file. So you go to source, data, characters, and your player file. And then go down until you find... Uh, PK points and change this to a high amount so you can buy a bunch of stuff click save and go back and compile now you're gonna wanna go into your client log out log back in and give me a minute I'll let this load up Inception X. Um, like I said before, guys, you might have to reload the client. So just go back to source, run server. Actually, give me a minute, cause I think. Um, it never saved. That's why. Okay, put yourself not super high. I'd give myself a thousand. Save it. Go back. Go back. And compile it. That's why it wasn't working, guys. Okay. Now you're ready. Now you go to client, run, and let this load up. <laughs> Type in your username and password. Log in. And let this load. Also, guys, if you want to make your server online, I will do a tutorial very soon on that. So if you look, you have a thousand PK points, and you can buy a chaotic staff, chaotic mole. I don't have enough, but um, yeah, you can do um, colon colon bridge for a hybrid set. And the switches on the server are actually pretty good. Um, so yeah. Um, make sure you guys subscribe, and I will be making a tutorial very soon for the next one. Peace, guys.